Vibe coding is a new practice that involves building out an application by using AI prompts. Vibe coding can be really helpful for quickly prototyping an app or experimenting with ideas. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Goose to vibe code a to-do list app. So let's jump right in. Here I've got Goose open with a brand new iOS app. First, I'm going to ask Goose to build a to-do list app where I can create to-dos, mark them as complete, and delete them. I'll let Goose work on that, and after a bit, we can see the changes it made. Taking a look at the app, Goose seems to have done exactly what I asked for. So, the app works well, but this isn't quite the style I had in mind. I'm going to ask Goose if it can give the app a more dark and minimal look. I'll let Goose make its updates, and... Great! This looks much better, and everything is still working properly. Next, I'm going to make a feature request. I want to be able to organize my to-dos by grouping them into categories. One of the helpful things that Goose does when it builds a new feature is it tells me what it did as well as how to use the feature. And now I can make different categories for all of my checklists. Last thing, I want to add a progress bar for each category to reflect how many to-dos have been completed. This is a slightly more difficult feature, but again, Goose handles it with no problem. We can see Goose added the new progress bar and it updates as I check off each item. At this point, I can continue to vibe code more features and adjustments, or I can jump into the code myself and start to make some tweaks on my own. Either way, Goose has made prototyping this app so much quicker than it would have been otherwise. So go on and give Goose a try and see what you can vibe code for yourself.